Hello everyone, this is Diego Saldivar, a Eurogames designer, and I'm here with a big update. I know I have been away for a little bit, and now I'm ready to come back uh, in full force. So, as some of you may remember that uh, in December I wanted to start creating a Eurogame in Unreal Engine, and I already had a little bit of code running. However, um, while I was testing packaging the game and exporting the game, it seems that the plugins that I downloaded are not production ready, which means that they only work if you open the engine and you have the path selected, etc, etc. So it's not very gamer friendly. I mean, it would not make sense for me to talk about making your games accessible when the gamers have to download an entire game editor and then uh, fiddle with some paths here and there in the command line and then move into getting the editor and then trying to set this up, set that up. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. So I decided to uh, change platforms and uh, this is where I have my update. In the last few months I've been working on, you know, my job and on myself, but on top of that I have also been working on small little projects such as, for instance, this project where you can drive with your actual face and maybe in later iterations I will be able to accelerate with your mind. But so far, first we need to connect Unity to the crown. So in this iteration, I'm going to be using Ryan Turney's Notion SDK for Unity, which, I mean, he says it's not feature complete, there will be bugs, and there are. Um, the architecture isn't sound. I mean, I agree you have to work a little bit on it, but it was good enough for me to be able to connect Unity to the crown, and that's good enough. You may remember in previous videos where I showcase how I duplicate the JavaScript web app application into the Unreal Engine in or just as a proof of concept to see if it works. So I have done exactly that in Unity and it works. And as you can see, it is working in Unity. If I just click log in, it's logging in. Then I can select my own device from a list of devices. I only have one. Then I just click select and there you go. It's just um, get there online, calm, focus. And I was also able to get some handlers to work with an accelerometer and I can also get some rain waves. I do not want to boggle the inspector with all the data, but it's also possible to get that uh, thanks to the Notion SDK that was given us by Ryan Turney. Now, of course, what good would be a game that you cannot ship? So actually I have tried uh, exporting this or you know building this game and it works it has worked in this computer in another computer I had one tester who could log in but he did not seem to get any um, data from the calm and focus I do not know why but I will be working on that later on so let's see if this works just without the editor oh it was in my other screen so let's see Okay, there we go. Then I hit login, select the crown, and then there I am, calm, focus. I seem to have pretty stable numbers right now as I'm speaking. That's great. So this means that you can actually make newer games, which you can ship with Unity. So this is where most of the magic happens. I modified Brian Turney's example, taking into account how he fed information from the Kinesis Handler to um, a Unity graphic interface. And I basically modified all the handlers to do that uh, so that they talk to another class instead of just dropping things into the debug log, that is to say the console. And I do comment where I have made changes or where things are happening and how sometimes there's places where you may have a warning here and there, which is why I either have lots of uh, ifs to say, hey, if we're not ready to get information, please don't get information, just return. Just stop it, right? At times I do have to try and then catch errors because uh, sometimes you're running a thread. Many of these um, functions are asynchronous. And uh, if you stop, a function mid thread, it's going to give you an error. Hey, well, not an error, a warning. Hey, uh, I'm 
deleting this thing, but I'm still logging out. So, hey, be careful with that. In Firebase, please update this or that or make a future clause, blah, blah, blah. I'll be working on that later on. And then, of course, you have the graphic user interface code. You, it's pretty straightforward if you have already made a graphic user interface in Unity. You have lots of panels and buttons and sprites and whatnot in order to um, change things around. Um, listeners for the buttons and then the buttons. I also give a few hints here and there on where things may break, what is happening and where, just in case you're not super experienced or if you're just getting a blast of information. It's where, where are, are you doing what, right? Especially because uh, if you're accustomed to just get information from a controller, which is even more straightforward, you say, this is activated, do this, do that. That's it. Instead of why do I have to fetch data and wait for it because you're waiting for a database which is in the cloud, etc., etc. Et so it's like half a step into the MMORPG. Um, architecture. Um, of course, sometimes here in the login or in the relog, uh, you may have some warnings here and there, and I tell you what I suspect it is. Again, I think that just updating Firebase will do the trick, but we'll talk about that later. And that's basically it. As you can see, it's just a graphic user interface. You just drag and drop buttons into the inspector, and <laughs> voila. If you want, you can download this code. It's open source in GitHub. The link is in the description. And uh, you can see how I give you a small taste of what it's supposed to be doing. Uh, if you want to check the open source code which has fed this project, you can just check the shoulders of giants. Um, and the development environment is kind of important. I tried to use Unity's later versions for this one, but they didn't want to work or I had to kind of update other things that I didn't really quite understand since I'm not that well versed into Firebase. But I suppose that I'll have to just do that out of necessity. Uh, this project works with Unity 2020.3.15 F1. And I'll try to see if I can upgrade into the 2021 LTS. Otherwise, we'll have to uh, deal with it. Um, I also copy pasted from the Unity SDK, uh, this using in other projects. Maybe this is the key to uh, update things without making Firebase break the entire project. Um, that's basically it. Next, I'll try to make a template, this time for Unity, where you can just download the template and start making your game without having to worry about connecting this and that or single tons or whatever it is. I'll try to use very similar assets from the ones I used in um, Unreal. Uh, some assets I made by myself, such as the crown animation, the crown interface, where you can have a quick view of what things are so that you can make your own and just connect things around and have the exact same functionality without having to create a new template, etc., etc. And that's it for Neuro Games. My next step is to create a Neuro Game template just like I did for the Unreal Engine. But this one you can actually use. And so anyone who has already created games in Unity before can just get in and start making their own Neuro Games. Thank you very much for your time. I will be seeing you around.